excited to have James here. So James has had the craziest three years ever for a dancer. He's gone from being a student at London Contemporary to choreographing on main stage Saturday as well. I guess it all started for me at secondary school um, with uh, doing dance in schools and then I did youth companies, um, dancing every day and then went on to train at London Contemporary Dance School. And from there I've just been pretty fortunate with things falling into place really. And before you went to London Contemporary Dance School, was there any teachers or, that were, or any artists that you looked up to? Um, I remember coming here actually about six or seven years ago and seeing Yasmin Vardaman on this stage, which was pretty inspiring back then, and also Raphael Bonacella, who was a big inspiration back then. Um, but I actually originally wanted to do musical theatre until I was about 15, and then I saw Ron Bear Dance Company, and that kind of changed my, my mind. So, um, you won the very first <laughs> Matthew Bourne <laughs> Choreography Award, 2012. Can you tell us how what was the application process, and then what happened with that? So. I had to put an application in for, to, for the show that I wanted to put on um, and I got through the first round and then had interviews um, which was with Matt and a couple of other people um, and then I found out actually when I was on holiday that I'd won it which was quite a nice end of the holiday. Well, you're still also performing alongside choreographing, how does that work? Um, it's quite tricky and it's getting more difficult the more um, sort of choreography that I start to do and being able to slot it in. Um, so I'm really working with like people I've already worked with. I'm not doing many new projects, but I'm still looking for if there's something that I want to do, then I'll try and find make to it work. slot yeah. it in. Yeah. And you were telling me backstage that you've just had a com well, you've been commissioned by the National Ballet Company of Chile. Yeah, I'm off to Chile in May to work with them. Which wow. Will only half of them understand English and the other half don't have any English at all. So I don't know quite know. Have you been over to Chile yet? I've never anything? been to Chile, no. So I'll be teaching you the power of dance. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, we love it. And you've just also had a commission with Scottish Ballet. Yeah, I've been up with Scottish Ballet um, making two new pieces for them, which will um, be premiered in August, I think. And so what do you think is the secret to, to, to your success? I think I've always had a lot of ambition, a lot of passion, and just um, kind of put myself in people's faces to make it happen. Um, you know, How do you do that? What do you mean by that? To put your just, in people's you know, faces? being friendly, being approachable, going to meet people. Um, I think people always say, oh, you've got to network to be successful. And people are a bit like, ah, oh, how do you network? What's networking? Um, but all it is is going to say hi to someone. They just need to know your face. And so that when you get in the audition with them, that they're like, oh, I've seen that person before. Um, it's not as scary as it seems. <laughs> So here's kind of a perfect opportunity. There's so there's everybody from the dance world is here. You can go around and yeah, just say, say hello to people. I think being friendly is a massive thing, and it's something that I look for in my dance as well. I look for people that are going to be you know fun to work with and who are going to who want to work for me. Um, I think that's a massive part of it. It's not just obviously they have to be amazingly talented, and you I'd expect that, but obviously, obviously. Um, <laughs> but it's also someone who's you know, going to have passion and drive and energy and bring fun to the studio. I just think there's somebody in front of you with a CAT teacher, the Centre Advanced Training. Yeah, no, I, I've worked with CAT students on commissions as well, um, creating pieces for them. Um, so I think it's a great scheme and something that and, and that's should also, look into. Yes, that's also a good way to start choreographing, is choreographing on youth groups and on yeah. different youth like yeah. schools and stuff. And yeah. I think also for... Um, Anyone who is on CAT or that age or still at school, um, I, a lot of the jobs that I've got are from people that I met back then. And people who choreographed on me when I was um, in youth companies and at colleges. Um, and, you know, you keep in touch with them, they get to know you then, and then you can get jobs once you've graduated. So it's a good Amazing. place to meet people. <laughs>